Hello and welcome to today's daily education video at Forex.academy. My name is Robert Blackwell as your host and I will be walking you through the course of this short video. Uh, just have a quick look at our following disclaimer there. There is of course risk inherent trading in these financial markets. And the topic of today's uh, quick um, webinar will be market momentum. So we'll look at actually how market momentum trades across different asset classes. We'll be looking specifically at uh, an economic series of, of data points there um, related to sterling uh, and the central bank of england interest rate decisions there uh, looking across both the sterling market against the the dollar and the euro and of course the FTSE 100 just to give you a, a bit of insight to how these different assets move when there is economic data points so let's begin well first let us define what is momentum and direction Momentum, direction, and trend, uh, these characteristics are the basis on which price action moves and from which the technical trader derives his analysis. They are together the most effective measurement to indicate where the market is more likely to move to. And obviously, uh, as our focus very much with technical analysis, it's very much to look for probability trades in the market where we can stack the odds in our favor. Um, so actually looking towards the not just the direction or trend but to how the market uh, more uh, prevalently moves in that particular direction we can assess momentum as a driving force behind um, uh, price direction across asset classes so just to emphasize momentum uh, let's think of two examples here we can think of the recent market bubble like bitcoin there more specifically it's, it's relative to us it was uh, you know over i suppose the last quarter of 2017 december uh, following into january there where we're seeing a very sharp rise in bitcoin almost from august 2017 i believe to two thousand dollars the whole way up to trading at a premium of twenty thousand dollars before reversing so just think of the the psychology behind that trade think of the momentum pushing that trade forward to the upside and then if we think of an equity market collapse, perhaps the 2008 financial crisis um, there is, is our, really a, our big historical point of reference that we can look. We can see how this example really caused, uh, well, on a fundamental basis, of course, but simply looking at the price action, we can see momentum uh, with drastic price change to the downside. So just some food for thought when we look at momentum and try and assess it. Really, it is depicted in large candlesticks in the price chart. Uh, it's depicted in a quick and rapid movement in the short term. And we can use this momentum to gauge a level of sentiment or, or perhaps panic in the markets when um, certain news or economic data points certainly surface in the market. Momentum direction, uh, sorry, momentum and direction are the basis of trend formations and are the trader's initial basis to technical decision making. Okay, so it's the basis of, of looking for trend formation. And obviously, if we're looking to trade a trend structure, let's say it's a, a bullish trend, um, we have a more probability to actually make profitable trades if we're deciding to go long and take uh, you know positions with the trend as opposed to trying to fade these markets. So it is going to be supportive of technical decision-making from the get-go. As an economy grows numerically measured by its increase in GDP or gross domestic product, the underlying markets within this region will form a relative bullish trend to reflect the progress. So just to think we have um, China at the moment growing at 6.8%, which is an astronomical figure in terms of uh, global growth markets. We have more relative uh, to US and European markets uh, range from around 2 to 4% growth, still uh, very strong. But in terms of looking at momentum and assessing how the economy moves, that will lead to very strong price action to the upside and reflecting a bullish trend over the long term. Likewise, if we think of a commodity, perhaps the underlying supply and demand function of a commodity drastically leads to long-term price declines. A logic will be expressed in the momentum direction on trend. So when we perhaps look to trade logically like this, uh, we can look towards the momentum to, sh to see really where the market really wants to go, where we see uh, the force of the market um, expressed between the logical battle between buyers and sellers forcing this market in one particular direction. So that can be obviously to, to the both uh, the upside and the downside, uh, given different asset classes move as a result to the underlying supply and demand function. 
So as traders, we will want to buy markets, of course, that are strong uh, because of this momentum, direction, and trend. It's in our favor. Alternatively, we will want to short a market or sell a market that is weak because the price action takes that direction and, of course, has a level of momentum behind the, the trade. So it is perhaps obvious to say that uh, you must trade logically or base your, your trading decisions on, on logical decision-making thoughts. However, it is in our vast experience that the vast of majority of retail traders do not incorporate or follow a logical understanding of this momentum that leads to direction and trend in their trading. So just to give you one, I suppose, a basic layman's example of this, we do often uh, frequently see uh, retail traders looking to buy a market that is selling off because they think they're getting a much better price. But effectively, if we think logically about that, the market is weak, the market is perhaps selling off day by day, and we can't assess it in terms of value until the market perhaps settles and we can get potential reverses or recovery trades. So it's not a question of value, it's a question of looking to trade in the direction that the momentum is pushing, pushing the overall trend um, with particular price action favor. And the trend is your friend. It's it's a very, very well thought a phrase that uh, is, is spoken amongst, amongst uh, financial traders here. It, it is certainly the case. The trend is your friend to actually look to follow momentum as well. So let's look. We have a quick short video here that will discuss momentum with the volatility here. And we're going to look at particularly some economic data points um, from the Monetary Policy Committee there in the Bank of England uh, there in the UK. So we have uh, the votes, we have the official bank rate, the asset purchase facility, and I do believe uh, the figure will come out in roughly 10 to 15 seconds just from the data point. We can see the market has traded down here. This is the euro pound. It has traded to the downside on a five-minute charting pattern, and we expect some momentum with volatility. So let's see how this plays out. Of course, the figure is released at 12 o'clock. We can see very strong momentum straight away. So this is indicative not just of, of panic or fear selling. selling. <coughs> we see momentum look to push this uh, trade to the downside um, very, very rapidly indeed. And you can see it's starting to retrace. Again, if we look across many different assets, we'll see how the pound, obviously this is the reverse trade on the pound side. We're seeing pound strength as a result of the figure uh, specifically with this market in question against the US dollar. Um, so it is showing a lot of strength and, and starting to retrace from those highs. More, I suppose, uh, food for thought in terms of looking at other asset classes, we can look at the FTSE 100 there. What is significant is it doesn't show uh, too much volatility. And what we've seen really, the volatility and momentum focused on the Forex currency trading there. So that concludes this short uh, video on looking at momentum, volatility, and trade trading. I hope it supplements some of your trading ideas and gives you a little piece of advice to actually look for momentum trading opportunities. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.